What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you how to make a body conditioner. The bars are gorgeous, fun and easy to make and create amazing body butter bars for bathing. You can apply the butter side directly to skin like lotion, use it as a bath melt or a rinse off body conditioner. Either way, your skin is going to be extremely moisturized. As always, please read the description for the recipe, important information, updates, the supply list, and more. The coconut oil is supposed to be solid at room temperature, but my AC broke, so it melted. Mix ingredients together well, then set a tiny bit aside for coloring. I'm using color powder. For that tutorial, click the icon. I don't recommend water-based liquid colorants because they don't mix well and leave tiny droplets of color intact that refuse to mix. Now mix the dry ingredients separately. The dry ingredients create action in the water. Add the dry ingredients to the white, uncolored liquid butter mixture and mix well. This is actually a wax sachet mold, but it was perfect for this project. Just make sure to place your mold on a flat, mobile surface. For beautiful pops of color, add tiny amounts of different colors first. I usually add it to the sides as it will get pushed to the sides anyways, but this is completely up to you. You can get really creative with this part and create all kinds of different colorful designs. Now fill each cavity with the white mixture. Add any remaining liquid mixture that you have. This recipe makes six bars exactly. For interesting color patterns like swirls, use a sharp object to drag the color out and around. Freeze for 15 minutes, then unmold the bars while they're frozen so they don't break. 
Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? I just love the colors and the swirls and the patterns, really everything about it. For some, I should have definitely dragged more color out, um, but they still turned out beautiful and I think they're just lovely. Last, allow the bars to reach room temperature. Just let them rest on the counter for about three hours. I think they just came out gorgeous. The bar will naturally divide in the middle one side will be buttery and melts when rubbed on skin, but the other side is thick where the dry ingredients sank and doesn't melt so easily. You can use the butter side just like lotion. Use the entire bar as rinse off body conditioner. This technique is perfect for me because it gives the perfect amount of moisture which is to say not as much as the other techniques. Or use it as a bath melt, which is really fun, especially with all the colors. The bar melts slowly, releasing fluffy, buttery foam. I'm almost positive that the vigorous action helps to disperse the butter more efficiently and more quickly. You could just drop it, let it sink, and let it dissolve that way. Either way, after the bar melts, your water will be infused with skin-loving oil and an amazing scent. This is what the water looks like after one melt. Once the bar melts, some butter floats on top. This tiny bin has a limited amount of surface area, so you won't have this much butter floating. It'll look like the water I showed you before. But anyway, for maximum conditioning, take some of the floating butter and rub it into your skin. It creates an impenetrable layer of moisture that smells amazing. I kept getting whiffs of it for the rest of the day. This bar actually reminds me of turtle wax. It creates a barrier that locks in moisture. Water cannot even penetrate it. It'll just bead on the skin. Be careful though, the tub may be slippery when getting out. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.